Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. On this fine Friday, we are going to take a look at the brand new Partner Spotlight Sale and give you some recommendations for which games to grab. And the one major Partner Spotlight game that is not in the Partner Spotlight Sale. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch. Force hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned for my much more controversial video later this evening. In the meantime, though, the Partner Spotlight Sale just kicked off. It runs till April the 8th, and it's got a cavalcade of games. Now, I've sorted them A through Z, but the one I want to talk about first is right here. Hogwarts Legacy is $35.99 on the eShop. 40% off right now. Now this sale wraps up on April 1st, that is Monday. It's for some reason not a part of this partner showcase sale. I guess it wasn't in a partner showcase. I wonder if all these games actually were in a partner showcase or not, but $35.99 for Hogwarts Legacy on Switch feels like a phenomenal price, a great deal. You can get it physically for $45 right now at Target or GameStop, but the $35.99 price is an amazing price. It is the price on the eShop, and it is the lowest price it has been since launch, so that one is fantastic. Now, from the list Nintendo provides themselves, we've got Alien Isolation at $15. I think this is a pretty fun game, especially if you like survival horror or if you like Alien at all. It doesn't look as great on Switch, but totally serviceable. It's a very nice port, and $15 feels pretty good. Bioshock is like my favorite game series of all time. Love for Bioshock at $10. You're getting three Bioshock games and all the DLC. Amazing deal, amazing value. Right now, Judas, like the new preview for that game, looks phenomenal. It's made by Ken Levine, the same dude that did Bioshock, and he's described Judas as basically Bioshock in space, but evolved. Freaking sign me up. Most anticipated game. I feel like if you're over 30 and like single player, Judas must be your most anticipated game right now. It looks freaking sweet, and Bioshock is fantastic. From the first game to the third, I think they all hold up really well. I think they're like a great piece of gaming knowledge and lore just to have in your back pocket if you're someone who's really interested in the overall gaming industry. And $10 is a great price. Bluey, I, I don't have much to say about Bluey. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, 26. Don't have much to say about that. Borderlands Legendary Collection for 10. Another very strong pickup. Uh, this one, again, providing you with a bunch of Borderlands games, not Borderlands 3, which was recently ported to Switch. I can understand wanting to pick that up. Let's see, what is the price of Borderlands 3 right now on the eShop? Probably way more than $10. Let's see, Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition. Uh, oh, they need a age date clarification thingy, my bob. Oh, it's currently 30. Okay, that's a pretty good sale as well. I don't know. I would probably just pick up Borderlands 3 rather than the other Borderlands. Um, let's not go to my email. Let's instead scroll down. Oh, no, they changed the order. A through Z. All right, so we've got Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle. That's a skip for me. Capcom Fighting Bundle, a skip for me. I'm just not that into... Nostalgic Fighting Titles, Call to the Lamb, Cultist Edition, is their Deluxe Edition for 18. It's 40% off, another very good pickup. I will say that Call to the Lamb, for me, it did not reach the roguelite heights of Hades, Enter the Gungeon, some of those titles that I really do have a strong pull towards, but I do think it's a good one. I just don't think it's one of the best ones. If you've exhausted the best options, like uh, you know Dead Cells, Call to the Lamb is still strong, but if you haven't played Hades, Dead Cells, Enter the Gungeon, I would look there first. Disney Dreamlight Valley, it costs 40 down to 30. I think Disney Dreamlight Valley is a not great implementation of Animal Crossing with Disney. I, I know some people do like it and it does have continued support. You can get the gold edition for 45. You can get the Rift in Time edition for 2249. You got basically 25 to 35% off. Disney Dreamlight Valley, as a major Animal Crossing fan, a converted Animal Crossing diehard, I don't think Disney Dreamlight Valley does it, but if it does it for you, I understand. Maybe the Disney stuff is enough, and I do think the Disney stuff is cute and fun and cool, and I'm a major Disney nerd. I just don't think the game is as good. Doom and Doom Eternal are eight bucks and 10. I would absolutely get Doom Eternal for $10. I think it's a stronger port. I think it looks and runs and plays better on Switch. And I think it is a cooler game. It's more dynamic. Some people do think Doom is the better game, like OG Doom 2016. Um, I can understand that. It is a simpler, more straightforward affair. Some people like the story better, and I may argue that yes, the story is better, but are you really playing Doom for the story? Possibly, probably not. So Doom Eternal is my pick, and it's one of the strongest picks on the list. Although I will say, Doom Eternal is often on sale for 10 bucks, 10 to $15. It's not a crazy sale. EA Sports FIFA, basically, 24 is $18. That's 70% off. We are getting close to FIFA 25. That's why this is so low. If you need it, grab it. But don't be fooled, like, it's not that great of a deal because there will be new sports games coming out every freaking year. 
Fay Farm is $42. I think that's way too expensive. There's a demo available if you want to try it out for yourself, but 60 bucks was a lot to start, and now even 42 feels like quite a bit to me. Goat Simulator, I mean, you know if Goat Simulator is for you, it's not for me. GTA Definitive Edition, half off. It's been this price before, $30. I think that's a much more fair price for the three old GTAs instead of 60. It has got significant patchwork since it released, so it does run far better than the video we made at its inception when it ran like crap. Uh, that is one to pick up if you're interested in GTA on Switch. But know that the games are old. Like They hold up okay, but they're not going to feel modern at all. Instead, you could spend $10 on Inscription, one of the best games on Nintendo Switch. I think this is one of the strongest indies, S plus tier, right up there with Celeste and Katana Zero. Freaking obsessed with this game. Yes, I love escape rooms. Yes, I love card games. But I think even if you don't, you can appreciate how well done this is and how many times this game just totally transforms. It's crazy how simplistic it might seem at first, like this is going to be a two to three hour game inside of a single room with a little card game, but things change dramatically, they evolve, and in really fun, crazy ways, and it gets bonkers by the end of it, like, we're talking like Netflix serial killer specials, so I, I can't say enough good things about Inscription, it's been on Switch for a year and a half, and you gotta play it. $10 is great for 50% off, It Takes Two is also 50% off, a great time with a co-op buddy, they do have a friend pass, meaning if you have a friend that has a Switch, they don't need to buy the game and you can play it co-op. 20 bucks feels good for this. They just announced stellar sales for the system. I believe it's at 16 million or 12 million. Either way, double digit millions, fantastic success. Super excited to see what that team does next. Hazel Light, even if their head is a little crazy, they deliver crazy cool games. Just Dance ain't for me, we'll skip over it. Klonoa ain't for me, don't have any nostalgia for that. Lego 2K Drive. I'm always looking for a new driving game, a new racing game, because Mario Kart just don't come out. I know we have the course booster pass, and that's great, but like a, another one, a second one. To me, it's Crash Team Racing is what I will put my flag by. 2K Drive is okay. Um, as you can see, though, this game came out less than a year ago. It's now 70% off, 67% off. I mean, most games are by this point, but it did not rock the world. LEGO 2K Drive is not awesome. Um, it's not the one I would pick, but I do think it's a solid enough time. 20 bucks isn't gonna, you know, upset you. Skywalker Saga, Lego Edition, Deluxe Edition, $20.99. Great price, great game, tons of content. If you are a Star Wars fan, I think it is totally worth the play at $21. Uh, I think it's been like a little cheaper retail, like physically, but if you want it digitally, it's a still a good price. The Metal Gear Collection for 48, I wouldn't buy it. I mean, I think those games are okay. I don't think they hold up all that great. Um, and I've heard that they don't run that great on Switch, so I would skip that. Pentiment is one of the Microsoft joints that got moved over to Switch uh, just last month in a partner showcase. $13.39, that's 33% off from an already really affordable $20 price point. I think this is a game worth supporting. It's a really unique idea, a really quirky story, a murder mystery set in the time of calligraphy. Uh, or what do they call this? What, 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 is, what is this called? They, it's not frescoes, stained glass? I don't know. They're doing illumination or whatever. I don't know. The, the, they're writing pretty pictures in books. Pentiment. Pretty pictures in books. Play it. Murder mystery. Cool story. Persona 3 and Persona 4 is 21 bucks. That's a great price for two games. That's 200 hours for $20. Insane value. But you're signing up for like really long, long games. Very good games. Long games. I'm partial to Persona 5 Royal, but I did not play these when they initially came out. And... That's why I think I like the latter. Some people prefer the earlier games as more purist Persona entries, but 21 is a great price, 45% off. Persona 5 Tactica, it's 40% off because it's the deluxe edition. Let's see, is the regular edition? Because I don't want to pay $48 for this. Oh yeah, the regular, The re, yeah, what? The regular is still 60, but the digital deluxe edition is 40. Ugh, I, I would avoid that sale. I, I think you can get a better price and a cheaper price. Uh, you know, a physical version of that game. Um, let's see, what else? I, and no shade to Persona 5 Tactica, it's just I would not, the, only putting the digital edition on sale to me is silly. PVZ Battle for Neighborville, eight bucks. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Garden Warfare was such a great duo of games and then they kind of messed it all up with Neighborville. Uh, I was there, I told them they're messing it up. I was invited to give feedback on the game. Uh, they didn't really listen. I hope that they're able to make another 3D PVZ game because it's good but nobody's really playing it. Red Dead Redemption for 35, make it cheaper. That's not enough discount for a very old game. Sonic Superstars Digital Deluxe, again, the Deluxe Edition is 42, which, okay, but I'd much rather pay 30 for the non-deluxe. Star Wars Heritage Pack at 60. I mean, you're getting a lot of games, but I 
personally wouldn't pay 60 for those. I Like, you can get these games sometimes on Steam sales for like 2 or $3. It's still a lot. Super Bomberman R2 for 30% off, make it lower. Tetris Effect Connected, 20, okay, 50% off. We're A-OK -okay with that. I'm not the biggest Tetris fan, but Effect Connected is very pretty and getting to play it poorly on Switch is fun. Skyrim. Skyrim should be free with every system, I feel, because it's been out for so freaking long, but they're still selling you Skyrim on Switch for 30 bucks, which to me, okay, like, I think that's a little bit silly. Now, there's some other sales going on right now, including this one. This is not part of the Partner Showcase sale, but the Prince of Persia Lost Crown sale wraps up on Sunday night, and it is the one to get. If you're gonna get one game I mentioned today, it is Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, 30 bucks. That's 40% off. This is possibly, I'm gonna say, it's the best Metroidvania. I think it's better than Metroid Dread, <gasps> better than Nintendo's own work, <gasps> but it's fantastic. It's the perfect length, maybe a little bit long, but like a lot of content, great gameplay, awesome combat, fantastic boss fights, phenomenal traversal, beautiful art, runs 60 on the Switch. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. And oh, by the way, they are doing free DLC throughout the year, including a paid story expansion later this fall. I love this game. I think it's amazing. There's an NIS America sale. Don't really have a lot of thoughts on these games. Haven't played any of them. And then the Bethesda Spring sale does include more than just Doom Eternal, Doom, and Skyrim. If you're interested in Wolfenstein, older Dooms, DLC, and then Warner does bring you, this is where Hogwarts shows up. And I think that's probably the second best pickup of today's sales list. Inscription, Hogwarts, and Prince of Persia. Those are my three picks, but let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna grab any of these games on sale. We do have a huge spring sale over in Europe, and I bet that comes over here around the time of the next Direct. So if you don't find anything you like in this partner showcase, I bet there will be first party games on sale coming back in April around the time of the new Nintendo Direct. But let me know if you're gonna grab anything. Like I said, those are my top three picks. I'd love to hear from you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, Switch Force out.